So we will see what he says, what happened. Lost the brakes or let's wait for the reports. Ronnie, he's been in Super GT for such a long time now. When did he come to Japan? He came to Japan in 2003. 2003. Wow. Now we're in 2019. That means he is in this championship for, uh, not in this championship, but in Japan for 16 years already. And this you need to know. He has been champion four times. Four times champion of Super GT. This number, you don't have much. And he is fighting for, his, for the fifth time five times uh, no one did it before so if he makes it this year to become champion then he will be the only only one who became champion five times that's ooh, already a legend but that will make a new record and yeah that would be fantastic he is Italian obviously but <laughs> inside I guess he's a little bit more Japanese already because <laughs> he speaks fluent Japanese he, he thinks or uh, his manners are you know Japanized already <laughs> he uh, uh, obviously of course has this Italian touch and his favorite food is uh, of course Italian but when you listen to his interviews it's always Ronnie which country are you from all right, so here is the uh, safety car start. Uh, we will, we are lining up the 500 and the 300. We are letting go the 300 so that they can get behind the 500 class cars. We also have during um, test seasons. We also have a test or practice. Um, we do practice this safety car start. It is unique. Uh, it's it's for for those who are watching it for the first time. is a little bit complicated. However, it's it's not it's not that. Okay, so we're letting go the three hundreds, and there is the uh, leader of the three hundreds. Who will be? Oh. Okay, so here's the interview with Ronnie. Who came back to the pits. What did happen? Can you explain what happened? So when he went into the 130R, oh, the right tire. He got a flat tire. And then he lost control and just went straight into the wall. Yeah, because it was all of a sudden he was a, a bit shocked or it was just uninstant. How is your body reacting to it? Okay, the tire barrier is, I mean, it's Suzuka, so it's not that a big, big, um, big impact he had, so um, his body is okay, so this time you retired, so let's look forward to the next race, and he's like, yes, thank you, sorry, sorry, but thank you for always cheering for us. Oh, that was that were the tires. So, as I said, I think the Michelins they got the prediction for this temperature wrong. I guess, or maybe it was some, I don't know. Maybe he had some contact with someone or something, and the tire just didn't make it. Ah, Ronnie, that's a pity. To you know, just not finish the race as a driver. That's that's frustrating I would say but heads up we will see you at the next round which will be in Thailand okay so uh, getting back to the race still the safety car we did have the uh, we did have the 500 and 300 lining up in the right positions and it starts again like it did at the first start. 
once the blinking light of the safety car goes off, that means that the safety car will go in in that lap still blinking. And then it will be the restart of the race. So Nakajima, he needs to focus and do a nice restart again. It is such a pity he had so much gap and he was about to, I'm super sure he was about to give that gap to Sekiguchi, who deserves it because he did such a great job at qualifying. But now it's zero again. And we have the 300 class. Sato, again. I believe he has his, his dis distension again. Oh. Oh, I think the pits will get busy. All these teams are preparing for the pit stop. These were the two, uh, two NSX teams, the 17K Hing car and the number one car, the Raybrick NSX GT. They were preparing for a pit stop. And you could see that they, were, uh, they had four tires ready, meaning that they will change all the four tires, I presume. Still safety car back at the home straight. After 22 laps, it's still the two Tom's cars in the front. Are they going to do a 1-2 finish on the podium? And there's another Lexus car following, so 1-2-3 on the podium, Lexus? Or is the 12th car, the Colsonic, catching up and get into the crowd of the LC500 or is the NSX GT going to catch up? Talking about this Suzuka circuit, it's a home circuit for the Honda cars, so it should be that the Honda cars are showing a good performance and not only the car manufacturers, the tire manufacturers. Oh my god, what is happening to the 500 class? It's Bridgestone. From P1 to P8, it's all Bridgestone. Wow. Good job you're, you guys are doing. Mm, impressive. Looks like they got the right tires ready. Ooh, oh my god, the pits are getting busy. This sometimes happens when the safety car gets right in, in, in the timing where everyone was trying to do the pit stop. This is going to be a mess, I'm telling you. <laughs> I am not sure which cars are preparing two tires, four tires or even non-tires. So That's the part where the pit reporters get gets crazy it's going to get nasty in the pits really just run around and look which car is doing what kind of pit work all right the safety car is still blinking still on we are about to enter the spoon okay the light is off which means that the safety car is going in this lap and the restart will be Nakajima and Hirakawa they need to concentrate now it's a battle of Lexus cars one two three and then Roster from behind how will the restart be still weaving you know um, once they slow down the tires they cool down a bit so it's Okay, so he is getting on racing speed again, Nakajima. Pulling, so now he cannot... He can, he can only accelerate now. No de-acceleration. Alright, going to the final corner. It's the restart of the race. Oh! 
but in this timing, oh my god, look at the pit, look at the pit, all those machines rushing in, all the 500 classes, it's the number one car, 17, 16, 19, and 13, wow, all these 500 class cars just rushed into the pits, it gets nasty, it's about, I want to know who is changing what, looks like Ravik. They did the number one car, they did change all the tires. All four tires they changed. You can see all these cars, you know, running. Oh, the leader of the 300 class. They're not changing tires. Look at that. They don't have any tires ready. This is strategy. This is Takeshi's strategy. Not changing the tires. That means that they will save around 30 seconds, it's, it's for the tires and also because the tires are warm, you don't have an out, the outlap is as quick as always. That was quick, look at that, that was 24.8 seconds. And Brave Rig was quick too. They did change four tires and had a pit stop of 36.1 seconds. Now it's the pit strategy. Wow, wow, it's a mess. Oh my god, so many, so many cars in the pits. This is exciting, isn't it? Still the two here. Nakajima trying to win a little bit of gap. Just he wants to give it to Sekiguchi. Just make a little bit of margin. Oh, but he went in. Nakajima is in the pits. In the pit. And Yamashita Wako is following too, but Hirakawa is still on the track. How is this going to turn out? Look at the pit timing now. They are changing tires, obviously. So that Sekiguchi can push to the fullest. We have the pit timing for the 6 Wako's car and the 36 car, the AU car. Who is going to get out oh and you also see the board for the 37 car so this means that the keeper tom's car is going into the pit next lap ray break had a time of 36.1 seconds they have uh, two seconds almost the same timing <laughs> wow impressive Usually we say it's about 40 seconds to do the pit stop, but they both did it within 38.4 and 38.5 seconds. Whew. Can I get some time to breathe? This is exciting. So, and we have, I believe that the keeper car is going in in this lap. Now, we have to see that the two Lexus cars, they are on fresh tires. They need to warm up their tires, while the Ray Brick car, they have already won. They did their outlap, so they have their tires warmed up. Pushing, pushing hard to just yeah, get as close as possible to the leaders. Ooh, that was... That was pretty, whew, pretty, a tough, tough <laughs> pit stop. Ah, uh, there you go. We have the 37 keeper car. Hirakawa is in the pit, changing drivers to Nick Cassidy.